let's look how we can turn an assembly animation or any kind of tabbed animation, and this could be a walkthrough for example as well, into a video that we can export and then use in any kind of video editing software. First step that I like to do is to actually get the SketchUp window roughly at the size of the final video. So this is actually the size of an HD um, screen. You want to have the the aspect ratio of the window approximately right and you want to have the pixel ratio approximately right as well because then any kind of lines, any kind of styles, outlines for example will show up in your video at exactly this quality and if you um, do a full screen model but then export it as a smaller video then things will not look exactly the same. This is ex especially important if you have text in here because text also will, will get scaled and uh, will only look right if you make this video approximately at the same size at which you're exporting it. Okay, so here's my video, everything set up. I got all my tabs set up. Let's go back to scene one. And then I can go to file, export and animation. When I do export animation, I can then pick the video file format right here on Windows. It's AVI on, um, on the Mac. It's uh, I think MP4. But what's important are these options right here. So then, if you go to the um, export options, you can first of all set your aspect ratio. In my case here, I went with a widescreen ratio, and then you can type in the image size. So I went with a lower quality HD size, and so 7, 1280 by 720 is an appropriate size there. In terms of frame rate, uh, you want to use your final frame rate. You want to be at least close, so I'm going to stay with 30. Um, and some of the other options here, loop to starting scene, where the entire video loops around, and play when finished is up to you. In terms of looping to the starting scene, typically I use um, I don't use the loop and another good tip is if you're going through um, a bunch of tabs it it's usually a good idea to double up the first and the last tabs so that the video remains longer on those tabs if you have any tabs in between where you need to stay a little longer you can double those up too then in terms of video quality you can pick a codec in which which will uh, compress a video to a smaller file size. There's always uh, some some loss that goes along with that in terms of quality. So I, these are the ones that are installed on my machine. Your computer most probably will show some similar ones and some completely different ones. Um, but what I like to do here is actually to export the video at full frames uncompressed, which means I'm going to get a video which is at the highest quality. It's also going to be the largest file format. But at that point, I can edit my video later and I can then um, still compress it and f use any kind of um, file format that I want to create later. But at this point, we're creating full frames. Anti-alias should be on so that any kind of edges look um, nice and not jaggy. Alrighty, once that is ready, you're ready to export and you get your video and you can then use it in any kind of video editing software. In the latest version of SketchUp, the uh, video export options have changed a little bit. So let me just walk you through those. If you go to File, Export, Animation, Video, you get the same um, uh, path as you did before. But then you can see here that on my Windows machine here, you see there's uh, a fewer options now. You get the uncompressed file as before. There are, there's a VP8, Theora, and the H.264 codec. So what I find works very well is the default, which is the MP4 codec. Makes a very nice small files, and they're all really great quality still. So, But same as before, if you want the highest quality but biggest file size, go with AVI. Options have changed a little bit too. Now you can actually see here the HD definitions. So 720 is what I'm going to go with here, but you can very much do full HD. 
um, or any custom size for that matter. You can preview a frame size, frame rate, that's right here, and the other options are as before, just a little uh, moved around. Other than that, go for it and export your video.